हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट अस लर्न अबाउट रेडियो एक्टिव आयोडीन इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द कंपाउंड्स ऑफ एंटी थायराइड ड्रग्स व्हिच इंक्लूड एंटी थायराइड ड्रग्स व्हिच इंक्लूड इनहिबिशन विद द ड्रग व्हिच इनहिबिट थायराइड सिंथेसिस आयोडीन एंड आयोडाइड व्हिच वी हैव कंप्लीटेड राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रेडियो एक्टिव आयोडीन सो फर्स्ट लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द um some facts about radioactive iodine so what is basically the radioactive iodine radioactive iodine is iodine 127 so here in iodine 127 uh is the stable iodine stable iodine isotope but iodine 131 is radioactive this iodine 131 emits x rays and beta particles so it is used in tracer studies this is iodine 131 is concentrated in thyroid and then emits radiations within the follicle especially beta particles they penetrate 0.5 to 2 mm of tissue and this leads to nucleus of follicle become pycnotic and cells or follicle become necrotic and then both these become and then there is fibrosis of the follicles this occurs mostly in large doses but the advantage is no damage to surrounding tissues right this is the mechanism of action of radioactive iodine coming to uses the uses of radioactive iodine one it is diagnostic if it is diagnostic we use 25 to 100 micron curies right and then uh, counting our scans done at in regular intervals and the second use in therapeutic therapeutic in hyperthyroidism most probably most commonly that to hyperthyroidism due to goiter sorry graves disease or toxic nodular goiter here we uh, give 3 to 6 millimercury average dose based on previous studies and thyroid state uh, if we uh, see toxic multinodular goiter higher uh, doses are given 
higher doses if toxic multinodular goiter here to start with response starts after 2 weeks and then increases and then peak at 3 months and then again evaluate thyroid status so this radioactive iodine has both advantages and disadvantages. Coming to advantages of thyroid hormone of um, sorry of radioactive iodine include one treatment is simple convenient. And inexpensive right the second one is no surgical risk scar or injury to parathyroid or Recurrent laryngeal nerve. Third, cure is permanent. Once it is uh, controlled, it is permanent cure. It will not recur in 99% of cases. Disadvantages. Disadvantages are basically side effects. Some of the side effects and other disadvantages, one is it may lead to hypothyroidism. Right? Um, may result in 5 to 10 percent patients, not in all patients, but only few patients, there may be hypothyroidism. Or it may lay, it may have long latent period of response because as I have said it starts after two weeks. So it has really long latent period. If you have to control it right now, you can't use this uh, radioactive iodine and it is contraindicated in pregnancy. Because fetal thyroid it may also be destroyed. And not fourth one is not suitable in young patients. Because they may have why it is not suitable in young patients because they may be hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism may develop. And this hypothyroidism will become permanent. And require lifelong treatment. And in use, um, in metastatic carcinoma of thyroid this radioactive iodine is used as a palliative therapy mm -hmm. that too after thyroidectomy so these are the disadvantages of thyroid gland of um, radioactive iodine using radioactive iodine has a therapy and the last and final drugs which I would like to discuss now is about uh, beta blockers. Beta blockers have no role basically in decreasing the thyroid action or 
decreasing the thyroid level in our body but but it acts by uh, decreasing or abviating or ele elevating the symptoms of uh, thyrotoxicosis decrease uh, symptoms of thyrotoxicosis which is due to sympathetic overactivity so about thyrotoxicosis and thyroid storm we will deal in the next class okay then bye